मॉर्निंग दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव कवर्ड नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन नौ ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इट इज फ्रॉम जी सेट टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन एंड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी सेवन दीज आर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जी सेट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द ट्राई हेलाइट ऑफ ग्रुप फाइव एलिमेंट्स दैट इज एन सी एल थ्री पी सी एल थ्री ए एस सी एल थ्री एंड बी आई सी एल थ्री टिपिकली हाइड्रोलाइज रेडली विद वॉटर एंड प्रोडिक्ट द करेक्ट सेट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट सो कीप इन माइंड ऑल द हेलाइट ऑफ ग्रुप फाइव और वी कैन से ग्रुप फिफ्टीन इन मॉडर्न प्रोडिक्टेबल आर रेडली हाइड्रोलाइज बट द प्रोडक्ट आर डिफरेंट विद डिफरेंट Trihalides. Okay, so let us see what are the products formed. For example, if we have NCl3, in case of NCl3, NCl3 when hydrolyzed, product formed is NH3 along with hypochlorous acid. so you know three chlorine so three hypochlorous and we get nh3 okay so in case of ncl3 the product formed is ammonia along with hypochlorous acid now second is you know ncl3 there is pcl3 you know see pcl3 and acl3 are readily hydrolyzed are completely and irreversibly hydrolyzed completely and irreversible and products formed are same so in this case when it is hydrolyzed we get h3po3 along with hcl so obviously 3 and h3 aso3 Sometimes we get Es two O three as well, right? So these are the products formed in case of second and third. Now fourth one is BiCl three. So keep in mind BiCl three as well as SbCl three. They are partly hydrolyzed and thus at the same time product formed are reversible. they are partly hydrolyzed and reversibly and products formed are biocl along with sorry biocl and hcl okay so we get two H and BiO Cl, so it is Bi positive and OCl negative. Bismuth hydroxy chloride. We get sorry, it is BiO is bismuth oxy chloride. Okay, bis bismuth oxy chloride. Right. In case of antimony, even we get the same product as B C L three plus H two O. So we get S B O positive C L negative along with two H C L. But we have N C L three, P C L three, A C A C L three and B I C L three. So product form should be this one. Okay. So option B is Correct, right? Okay. So just note down, and this is very important because these are actually five questions, different questions covered in the same question. Okay. Now question number twenty one. Boron forms stable electron deficient compounds. Why? You know, boron is two s two two p. One. So in ground state, it is 
like this and in excited state it is like this that means it has lesser number of electrons than the number of orbitals so for example bcl3 to form bcl3 simply it reacts with chlorine so we get bcl3 you know bcl3 does exist along with a vacant orbital right so in this way we can say it has wide form stable electron deficient compounds because it has only three valence electrons and four valence orbitals okay so a option is correct right done boron are always form covalent bonds so covalent bond is favored by you know small size of cation large size of anion higher charge small size of cation means high polarizing Instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction. 
and that is proportional to size proportional to molecular mass proportional to number of electrons right so you know out of f2 cl2 br2 i2 as we go down the group size increases as we go down the group molar mass increases as we go down the group number of electrons increases and so is the dispersion forces or van der waals interaction that means i2 is the right option right okay so this is 23rd question now come to 24th so in 24th question the gas most widely used in discharge tubes for advertisement very common question asked in many exams you know discharge tube i think you know the answer but if you don't know neon bulbs you know neon bulbs okay so neon is used in discharge tubes for advertisement okay now which of the following elements in its native form is not expected to behave as ligand so you know p4 in p4 it is like this and at the same time phosphorus has lone pair to behave as a ligand first condition is it should have a lone pair and it has a power to donate it okay or even if it has no power to donate so at least it should have lone pair then it has tendency to give because if the lone pair is not there then how do it can act as a ligand right so s8 you know crown shape in this case again it has every sulfur has two lone pairs so it can also behave as ligand then in n2 so nitrogen again has lone pair but you know boron though it is b12 in b12 boron does not have lone pair that's why b12 does not behave as ligand then okay which of the following is with distinct acidic behavior out of b2o3 al2o3 ba2o3 and in 2 o3 so you know as we go down the group there is boron aluminum gallium indium as we go down the group metallic character increases and metal oxides are basic non metal oxides are acidic so down the group metallic character increases that means you know aluminium gallium indium they are metals only boron is a borderline case it is a non metal right that's why only b2o3 is acidic remaining al2o3 ga2o3 in to o3 they are basic so it is amphoteric al2 o3 is amphoteric but ga2 o3 and indium in to o3 they are basic because of increase in metallic character right so b2 o3 is the right option next 
which of the following does not behave as a bridging oxygen does not have a bridging oxygen for that we should know the structure of each one of them let us draw the structures first is dichloroheptoxide that is cl2 o7 so in cl2 o7 c2 cl o3 cl o3 are attached to each other by a common oxygen so this oxygen is bridging in cl2 o7 right so first one is not the right option dichromate what is dichromate cr2 o7 two negative so in cr2 o7 two negative chromium again similar case there is one oxygen common and two negative charge two negative charge means two single bonds it is like this again there is a bridging oxygen orthosilicate orthosilicate is simplest silicate sio4 four negative so because in orthosilicates four negative means four single bonds so there is no bridging oxygen so that means c option is correct pyrophosphoric acid so pyrophosphoric acid is formed when phosphoric acid is heated For, what is phosphoric acid h3po4 so two moles of phosphoric acid are heated and one water is removed one water is removed so what we get h4 p2 and o7 h4 p2 o7 it is like this e double bond o o h o h and o h plus p double bond o o h O H O H. So this water is removed, and what would we get? P double bond O O H O H. One common oxygen. Again, there is a bridging oxygen in pyro. phosphoric acid right so in this way right option is c so th these are the question from 2014 from 21 to 27 so just note down and then we will proceed to the next questions okay yes so next is amongst the following which has graphite like structure first is silicon carbide then silica boron nitride and borazine so see borazine everyone knows it is known as inorganic benzene this is inorganic benzene because it is like b like this
complete delocalization of pi electrons but in this case because nitrogen is more electronegative than boron so sigma bond is more towards nitrogen and pi bond it is less drifted towards boron okay that's why delocalization is less but it is similar to benzene that's why it is called inorganic benzene and the same side boron nitride when we talk about boron nitride in boron nitride there are hexagonal structures same
lithium aluminium hydride so lithium aluminium along with lithium chloride okay so we have four so three ally ca so that's why right option is c though it can be correct but conditions are vigorous temperature i think 385 or something else wait i will see in case of lithium aluminium hydride ah uh, yes 3 sorry 350 atmosphere sorry i forgot so vigorous conditions are required from elements it can be prepared but condition required are vigorous that's why this is not the right option but in this case it can takes place easily that's why c option is correct okay question number 31 very important and conceptual among the boron halides which is the strongest lewis acid c you have boron and boron is attached to three halogens so it has vacant orbital vacant p orbital that's why all are lewis acids but question is which one is strongest due to the presence of vacant orbital or electron deficiency of boron they are lewis acids now if we talk in terms of electronegativity you know fluorine is most electronegative so obviously this makes boron most electron deficient so bf3 should be strongest lewis acid but if it is not like that that is the beauty of this question this is explained by p pi p pi back bonding actually if we compare this is fluorine fluorine bromine and last one is iodine so fluorine has filled orbital so fluorine can back donate its electron to boron and you know 2p orbital of boron is there and at the same time 2p orbital of fluorine so you know when orbitals have very less energy difference they can easily form bond so back donation of fluorine and back donation of chlorine which one is better here back donation takes place from 3p to 2p so back donation is less effective here there is a large difference 4p and 2p back donation is very less but in iodine back donation is hardly taking place because it is 5p and it is 2p so back donation is maximum in bf3 so electron deficiency of boron is satisfied more in case of bf3 because of effective p pi p pi back bonding that's why back bonding decides the order so back bonding p pi p pi back bonding is least in bi3 that's why it is most electron deficient and that's why bi3 is strongest lewis acid right okay last one which of the following is not paramagnetic come to no2 so you know no2 there is one odd electron in no2 that's why on cooling it can form n2o4 so no2 and because of that it is colored because of odd electron so it is paramagnetic now come to o2 negative so you know o2 it is sigma 1s2 
sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 then phi to px phi to p y 2 2 sorry sigma to p z2 no 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 sorry this is here up to nitrogen pi is before sigma and here simple sigma 2 pz2 pi 2 px2 pi 2 py2 pi star 2 px pi star 2 py1 1 because in O2 there are 8 plus 8 16 electrons 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 15 16 and in O2 negative one of the electron is added in pi star still there is one unpaired electron that's why O2 negative is also paramagnetic now in ClO2 you know it is 7 electron in chlorine there is one double bond and on other side there is one single bond and one three electron bond but bond length in both the cases are same so they are resonance hybrid there is resonance okay and because of resonance clo bonds are same equal in length but because of three electron bond it is also paramagnetic and Cl2O7 in Cl2O7 there is one bridging bond bridging oxygen and at the same time all are paired so Cl2O7 is not paramagnetic so D option is correct got it ok so th these are the questions from 2017 G set. Okay. So next question is which of the following is colored? It is just like keep in mind silver halides. Silver chloride, you know white. Silver bromide, faint yellow. And silver iodide, brightly yellow. So keep in mind iodides, chloride, chloride, bromide, and iodide. So iodide should be colored. If you don't know even, then keep in mind that as it is written which of the following is colored only one is colored so that should be iodide simple okay ozone absorbs uv light in atmosphere and is decomposed mainly so you know when ozone is decomposed it should give o2 along with nascent oxygen so that means option a is correct. Got it? Now, next. Which of the following molecule is an inorganic graphite? We have done it before. There is one question. The 35, 36 and 37, these are from GSET 2019. And 33 and 34 from GSET 2018. Okay. So, obviously, boron nitride is inorganic graphite and B3 and 3 H6 is inorganic benzene so option D is correct though it is B3 and 3 written but it is boron nitride ok at one atmosphere pressure solid CO2 is commonly known as dry ice you know solid CO2 is known as dry ice because CO2 gas sublimes sublime means it is directly converted into solid without the intervening liquid phase means it cannot wet the cloth solid co2 cannot wet the cloth it, that's why it is called dry ice so that means co2 gas can be directly solidified without the appearance of liquid phase this is the right option 37th this is also we have done 
peep by peep by back bonding you know all the boron halides are lewis acids and order is bi3 is stronger lewis acid than bbr3 which in turn stronger than bcl3 and then bf3 bf3 is weakest lewis acid because here p pi p pi back bonding is maximum right so in this way bf3 bcl3 are both lewis acids okay but they are not equally strong bcl3 is stronger than bf3 right so that means option a is correct right so this is all about p block elements g set questions previous g set questions of p block elements from 2002 onwards up to 2019 we have covered all the questions just do these questions and by keeping in mind these type of question just prepare for g set all the best god bless you all so do like subscribe and share my channel jai hind jai bharat